determine the direction of the current in a b and state how the direction is deduced so we use the fleming left hand rule here and according to the fleming left hand rule the first finger is to be aligned with the direction of the magnetic field the thumb would be aligned with the uh, direction of the force acting so the second finger would give us the direction of the current which is from b to a if we are specifically talking about a b then the direction of current is from b to a welcome to this tutorial i am solving question number 7 of october november exam series of 2019's paper 22 of gcse o level physics the question is related to dc motors the question says figure 7.1 shows a horizontal rectangular coil ABCD placed between a magnetic north pole and an S pole south pole. There is a current in the coil. An upward force F of size 9.6 into 10 raised to minus 3 Newton acts on side AB of the coil. Explain why there is a force on side AB. So whenever a current carrying coil or conductor is placed in a magnetic field the current carrying conductor produces its own magnetic field and that magnetic field interacts with the other magnetic field so the repulsive and attractive forces act on the coil or the conductor and the conductor experiences a force so the answer to this question would be the magnetic fields of magnet and current carrying coil interact with each other so that is why the force is experienced by the coil determine the direction of the current in a b and state how the direction is deduced so we use the fleming left hand rule here and according to the fleming left hand rule the first finger is to be aligned with the direction of the magnetic field the thumb would be aligned with the uh, direction of the force acting so the second finger would give us the direction of the current which is from b to a if we are specifically talking about a b then the direction of current is from b to a so i'm writing the direction is from b to a and it is deduced by using Fleming left hand rule. So this answer would earn us two marks. Both side A, B and side C, D of the coil are 2.5 centimeters from the axle so from the axis their distance is 2.5 centimeter determine the total moment acting on the coil so for example if we find the moment on the side a b and then multiply it by 2 then we get the total value of the moment so moment is equal to force multiplied by the distance the value of the force is given to us which is 9.6 into 10 raised to minus 3 and the distance for one side is 2.5 centimeters which would be converted into meters when we divide it by 100 part is 2.4 into 10 raised to minus 4 newton meters and for the total moment we would be multiplying it by 2 so the total moment would be 2 times 
into 2.4 into 10 raised to minus 4. So the final answer is 4.8 into 10 raised to minus 4 Newton meters for this part. The next part says the coil in figure 7.1 is part of a direct current DC motor. State the name of the device that connects the coil of a DC motor to the electricity supply. So the coil is directly connected to split ring commutator and which through the brushes connectors connects it with the electricity supply. So the answer could be split ring commutator. State one change to the arrangement in figure 7.1 that produces a greater turning effect in the coil A, B, C, D. So we can produce the greater turning effect by using a stronger magnet. This could be one way and there are other ways which would also increase the turning effect. For example, if we increase the current flowing through the coil, if we use the greater EMF or we use smaller resistance coil, all of these would increase the uh, turning effect produced in the coil. So the question ends here with this part. We try to explain complex concepts in simple language and with effective examples. If you like the video and the way we explain the subject, consider liking this tutorial, commenting on it and subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon so that you stay updated and get notified when we upload more videos. Thanks for watching.